Hello folks, this is Keith Henry with the pregame for Coppin State University Lady Eagles. They host the Delaware State University Lady Hornets. Now, both teams are trying to end uh, trying to end losing streaks. Delaware State has lost the past four game the past three games. And Coppin State has lost their past four games. Del State recently come off of a big, a big loss at seventy-one sixty-two loss at home against UMES. And Coppin's come off of a heartbreaking seventy-one sixty-nine loss to Howard. Now, in the game against Howard, Coppin was up a dozen as they go off to a good start in the first quarter. First. And somehow, Coppin lost their way because How Howell goes to a press, and Coppin started to relax a bit much, and Howell's defense got to him, and they started making three point shots in the second half, and even with all this, it still came down. To one shot at the end, but uh, the pass to Janelle Lane inside, she was wide open, missed the layup at the buzzer, which would have forced overtime. And at, and after the game was over, she went straight off into the um, into the locker room, didn't shake hands with anybody, but she was very. Very upset with herself for missing that layup, and Coach Brown was not too happy about that either. Because number one, it shouldn't have came down to that opportunity, because they were up twelve the first half, they were up ten in the second half, and they were up by five points with five minutes to go. But Coppin could not hold on and seal the victory, so. That sent Coppin to the fourth straight loss. Now, uh, Del State, Del State did lose by uh, nine at home to uh, Mount Eastern Shore, seventy-one sixty-two. But they're looking to come in here and try to do some damage, as the hot, the hot, the hot ones for Lady Hornets, Nikki Blackburn, nearly averaging a double double. Eight points, eight point three points, and then just about ten rebounds per contest in the last four games. While guard Leah Davis is averaging ten and a half points, just under seven rebounds and just under four assists per game, and guard. Mika Aldridge leads the MIAC in free throw percentage, a just eighty, just close to eighty-two and a half percent. So for Coppin, coming in, uh, Janelle Lane had a Janelle Lane recorded a double double, thirteen points, thirteen, thirteen points, thirteen rebounds, and she's she's pretty much came in hot and uh, making buckets, but. Uh, she uh, she hurt herself with that miss. She hurt herself with that miss lap. So we'll have to see if she can make up for everything. Now, as for Coppin, they're gonna have to find a way to continue to get off to a good start. But they have to put the foot on opponents' throats and start putting teams away. They haven't been quite that good with that, but they. But they're gonna have to find a way. Oma Taeyong recorded another double double, nineteen points, eleven rebounds. But thing is they're gonna still have she's gonna have to learn to stay out of foul trouble. If she can stay out of foul trouble, there's a chance they can break the streak tonight. But if Coppin don't start well and if Coppin makes their layups, we'll see what happens. Keith Henry be with you for the men's preview.